Hi there, Joanna. Delighted to uh, to do this for you. So what we're going to do, all our makeup is actually designed specifically for um, older women. So every every single product that we've got works really well when you're older. And I'm going to go through and describe each product that I use, why we've chosen it for the range, and what it's doing for Joanna. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, um, do is use a face prime. In fact, I'll put a little bit on the back of your hand and I want you to rub it in and tell me how it feels. Oh, it's like silky. Silky, yeah, smooth yeah. and silky. Lovely. And it has a sort of similar, lovely, smoothing, silky effect on your skin. So, very simple. And you put this on after your moisturiser and under your base. Brilliant. The other thing about primer is it um, smooths out the skin, so um, fills in any open pores or fine lines that you've got. So it's brilliant for that. So the next product we're going to use is the base. But I'm going to put it on very, very lightly. Our base is brilliant because it covers quite quickly and easily. And um, Jana's got absolutely beautiful skin. Just a bit blotchy. A bit it's blotchy, and what this will do is unify the texture. So you you put it on with a brush, don't you? Which is interesting. Well, a brush, brush and fingers, but you know, basically you put it on the back of your hand. Um, we've got an angled brush like this, which is brilliant because you can kind of get into the nooks and crannies. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, um, a, a, another thing that I bet you don't use, but I'm going to use a because <laughs> you just told me you just used a bad, um, is a concealer. Um, so concealer is like another layer to the uh, to the foundation and I'm going to put this into Joanna the corner of Joanna's eyes here and slightly into the the area underneath which can be quite blue the next face product I'm going to use on you is a highlighter and before I do that I'm just going to groom your brows you've actually got the most spectacularly beautiful brows now with age our eyebrows often fade they become almost invisible so you need to put some shape and colour back yeah so you, you virtually um, haven't ruined your eyebrows yeah, which you only really by accident do. but even if you don't over pluck them the, the ageing process takes colour out of the brows and it also makes your brows go completely balmy I have problems my brows now grow um, the brow hair grows at funny angles and it because they, they're sort of long and hooked some of them are white so um yes it will okay so I'm, I'm going to use a highlighter and I'm going to use it on your brow bones and I'm going to use it on the top of your cheekbones here mm. and this is a, a brilliant product it kind of disappears but it's there doing its work so you're drawing attention to two areas that you want to draw attention to which are bones in your face again to, to give you some it's a kind of contouring effect so that looks Lovely. I'm still in the glow of knowing I have spectacular eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start with your eyes. And we're doing this for sort of like a special evening evening look. And this is an eye primer. And again, if you don't know about eye primers, they're brilliant because, again, they. Um, I always think older skin is a bit like blotting paper. You can't draw a straight line on blotting paper. So you actually need something like this. Is this the new thing? Um, eye primer. Well,. I think they've been around for some time, but the thing is that a lot of people don't know about them. And one of the things that I wanted to do when I started Look Fabulous Forever was just sort of educate older women about some of the amazing products that are out there. I had these made specifically to what I re required them to do. And um, so this this is already just given a little bit, the, 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 it's some um, flesh colour, this primer. So it will take away any discoloration that you've got on your eyelids. And actually, if you you could just have you just put this on almost like a cream eyeshadow, but oh, it's going to yeah. you know it's better than that because if I'm going to draw if I'm going to give you any kind of line along your eyelashes, it will stay in put uh, stay in place and look better. The whole thing about colour when you're putting on makeup, you have to decide whether you're warm toned or cool toned as a person. Cool toned skin has got a blue undertone. Uh, warm toned skin has a yellow undertone. So you can't wear yellow at no, all, and, ever. You, and you look good in grey. And so, so you and I are the same. We're we're both cool toned. And once you know whether you're cool or warm toned, putting colour on your face becomes incredibly easy. Hmm. So I'm going to choose from the cool toned range of colours that we've got. So I'm going to start with um, just a, a cream eyeshadow on your eyelids. With eyes, when you're doing eye makeup, you're always trying to make the eyes look bigger. Over the whole eyelid, I'm going to just put this cream shadow. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to use some taupe eyeshadow. Okay, and I'm now going to 
going to use another clean brush. I'm just going to blend that really, really well. So, and that's because eyeshadow should always be really well blended. If you just open your eyes, I'm going to put a small amount of this on the inner inner and what corner. Is that? Of eye. This is what we call our lid colour. It's a creamy formulation, and I'm not going to put very much on, but it is going to be lovely in the, the effect that it gives. Just doing this on the inner corner of the eye. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do on your eyes is I'm going to use um, a wedge-shaped brush, a little wedge-shaupe brush like that. And this is the Aubergine Shadow. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit on. I'm not going to make a very thick line. I'm just going to push it into the roots of your eyelashes. And the purpose for doing that is to make your eyelashes look thicker without actually giving you a solid, hard line. Just close your eyes and... I'm just going to rub this and push this into the base of your eyelashes. It's not as messy as eyeliner, as liquid liner no, either. No, it's much easier to control. So you're just sort of going like that with the brush, yep. along the line? Open your eyes. This is really, really pretty on you. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit underneath your eyes as well, not too much, otherwise you look, you know, it'll be too heavy for you, but I am going to do a little bit on the outer edges like that. Okay. I think that's enough. Ooh. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to finish with some mascara. Again, mascara, when I was choosing one for the rain, I wanted something that would actually um, make your eyelashes look thicker, but leave them pliable and quite soft to the touch. I called it look fabulous forever, not, not look younger forever. It's not about looking younger, it's just about looking better. Yeah, because when you go to the sh to the shops and you see all out there on the ranges, yeah, often it's it's quite intimidating, isn't it? Yeah. How many things there are there to buy, and especially if it's a product that wasn't invented it's when you were have. young. Yeah, and, and, and you don't think it's aimed for you. You think, oh, yeah. that must be what young people are using. And it isn't aimed for you. That's the whole point. I mean, you know, beauty industry isn't really interested in women over a certain age. They're just not. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put some uh, blush on you now, and then okay. I'm going to do your lips and. Okay. Uh, We'll have a look at that. So I'm going to use this blush, which is a cream to powder formulation, and I'm going to put it here on the top of your cheekbones. So I'll put it quite lightly. Do you sell different colour blush then? I've got a warm tone blush and a cool tone blush. Ah, so it keeps cool it simple, blush. doesn't it? Because you yeah. just need the one. Because often you get, like you say, go to the shop and there's 12 different blushes yeah. and you're like, ah, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm putting quite a lot on you, um, quite a scary amount really, but I'm going to then use a brush and I'm going to... Uh, to, to bring it back to sort of something that's actually uh, softer. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is put a lip primer on you. And I'm ah, gonna, so this, this, this third just goes prime. third primer. So this one is white in colour, and you put it around the edges of your lips like that. How weird! And you do that to seal the edges of your lips so that you don't get lipstick bleeding and feathering into the outside edges. And the thing about lipstick... I have never ever heard of that. No, it probably isn't happening to you yet. No, 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 the bleeding, yeah, but this. Oh, lip line. No. no. So just on the edges, like huh. this. And make sure that it's fully dry before you try and put your lipstick on. It takes, you know, seconds. But So again, using a lip brush to get a better finish. These colours are absolutely perfect on you. Just my tragic hair now. <laughs> Ooh! Mm. Okay, okay, so we're finished. <laughs> this is the after. I, I think you look absolutely gorgeous, so I hope you're pleased with it. I am. Um, I think it's quite, it, it is quite a glamorous look. You know, we're not doing this as an everyday look, so um, I think the quite vibrant lip colour and also the eye makeup that I put on you but it just does bring out um, all your lovely features. It's so, very interesting, yeah. all the whole primer thing is all very new to me mm -hmm. and I would imagine but to a lot of people. Discovering primers is, is just like unlocking this um, like, like amazing um, effect. It, feel, it feels yeah. even silky. It feels lovely. Yeah. It's sort of sitting, it doesn't feel heavy. I actually feel conditioned. Yes, I always think you know you, People shouldn't notice the makeup. They should look at you and think she looks lovely, not she's got lovely makeup on. And I think, yeah, yeah. I feel good.
gorgeous. Are you ever thinking of, of moving your business and having product on the high street? Uh, not at the moment, no. So the only way to get your products is to go to your website and yeah. purchase online? Yeah. Um, so it's www.lookfabulousforever.com And I'll put a link um, yeah. on this video. Okay, yeah. brilliant. We've got uh, mm -hmm. eight different brushes and eyelash curlers and then we've got 13 different um, makeup products. So five face, five eye and three lip. It's, it's kind of like a boutique range really, but you know that every single product that we've got is, um, is going to suit you and work well if you're over 50. Which a lot of us are these days. <laughs> a growing proportion of the population. Yeah. yeah. Well, so thank you very much. It's been a real yeah, pleasure meeting you. It's been a pleasure for me too, Diana, and I'm glad you're pleased. I glad am. you like it. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you.